What is going on? Having a party? Hey, welcome back. Care for a drink? Y'all give me some? Heads up. Now make yourself at home. Not that you haven't already. Who, me? Well, whatever do you mean? Corona's fine. He just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Kaito's a gentleman and a scholar. I like your style. What do you want with me? Check it out, Yagami-san. You're only here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? That's gotta be the reason the Yokohama Liumang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've gotta cut me in, man. Thanks, but I've got enough help. So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? <laughs> no offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. When you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I guess I'm gonna chill here until you give me the nod. It's Tsukumo and Tsukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. The more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. I don't really care. Such a nice office. I'm gonna love it here. <laughs> uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the Ahara link to Mikoshiba. The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance for his son. They've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. Son of a bitch student teacher should burn in hell for bullying a kid all the way to suicide. Mikoshiba was a damn psychopath. Ehara is the vigilante groper. And that's not even the trolls. So the news is blowing up on the net, huh? In the internet terms, this is only the first spark that could ignite into a fire. Not even what I'd call viral. Then who's lighting the spark? The people responsible for Mikoshiba's murder? I'll have to go down a few more rabbit holes before I can make that call, I'm afraid. Gotcha. That said, some posts are kinda suspicious. This one here, for instance. Ehara totally called the location of the body at his trial. The fact that he did that never really even went public, as far as I could tell. It was kept off the record? When Ahara got arrested, the cop turned Groper story and his sexual battery charges were huge news. It was all the media could talk about. But by the time his trial rolled around, the news had already moved on. His guilty verdict barely made a blip. Fellas, I told you I wanted to be kept in the loop on this stuff. You saying Mikoshiba had more than one killer? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Ijincho? It's been over two months already, man. If they were here, they're probably long gone by now. Another peaceful day in Ijincho, right? Check outside! It's the Liuman! The white mask again! Let's go, Chuck! I'll catch you later. <laughs> not bad. You're not getting away this time! I... You won't get away!
Great. Where am I? You lure me here? Don't worry, man. I'm not planning on killing you tonight. Okay, but why else would you take off the mask? Because from this point forward, Eugene Cho is closed. You won't be coming back. I'm Tesso. For what it's worth, I'm an officer candidate of the Yokohama Liomon. I hear you took out some of my masked boys the other day. Oh, you mean those guys who thought they could sneak up on me in the afternoon? Maybe if you hadn't resisted at the time, you'd be in a lot less pain than you're about to be in the near future. Who's paying you to try to take me down? This is a job that came down from the top of the org. I don't know who hired us, and to be honest, I don't give a shit either. But... Ripping up a kick-ass detective like you sure sounds like a good time. None of you guys make a move! I want to see if the rumors are true. So I get first taste. <laughs> Show me what you got. Got me.
weight tonight, aren't we, Kaito-san? Yeah, my bad. Had to punch my way through a few guys. Hey, you gotta run for it. If you stick around, it's not gonna matter how many lives you've got. Yeah, but if I run now, who's gonna pay for Tsukumo's window then? Huh? Uh. For fuck's sake, I'll just pay for it. Now get out of there. <laughs> you got a deal. Clear. I'm on my way.
We done here? Yagami! Yeah? You want something? Uh, what was it? Tesso? Just want to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to take out all these guys, to be honest. Uh, thanks? But if you're feeling generous, how about you tell me who hired you? <laughs> Didn't I say this before? I got no interest in doing that. And can you do me a favor and turn down the job next time, maybe? Yeah, right. If the request comes through again, I'm taking it. Simplest solution for you is to get the hell out of town. Me and my big mouth. Just go already. Bad man. A lot of young folks look up to Tesso, so gaining his respect is gonna have some perks. All I want to know is if the view mom are no longer a threat. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. Tesso's not the only young hothead among them. But hey, at least they probably won't blindside you anymore, and that's a victory in itself. Guess that is a step forward. A baby one. Anyway, we should go check up on 99. Something tells me they're not in the clear just yet. Yagamishi! Oh, thank God you're back. Tsukumo, what happened? He's knocked out cold. Damn it. Masked men attacked us. I couldn't fight them. Masked men, you say? Were they any different from what the Liumang wear? Uh, I, I couldn't get a good look. Sukiyorashi, they stuck up on him with a bat and came after me next. They caught me. My pinky. They broke it? Hey, are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. There are these photos, and a message I was told to give to you, Yagamishi. They said to tell you, this is your final warning. They've been spying on me? It hurts. Shit. If they want me, then come after me. Talk. I think the Leomon were part of the plan, as bait. They probably only came to lure us away from the office. The worst part is it fucking worked! <sighs> this camera ought to show everyone coming in and out of the building. Look, there's me and Kaito chasing down the Leoman. But here's the hitch.
There were seven of them, and they didn't have those trademark white masks. So clearly, they're not Liumang. <laughs> they must have got the white masks to lure us out, meaning they're the ones calling the shots here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were also Ahara's accomplices to murder. That'd be something. Though, it's hard to believe a single murder could involve so many people. Really? Why do you say that? More friends, more loose lips. One slip of the tongue can bring down an entire group. Taking a man's life would require absolute solidarity from every single member. What could be their connection? Could be their Ahara's buddies in blue. After hearing what happened to his kid, they couldn't help but feel for the guy. If it were me, yeah, I'd sympathize. But not enough to watch a man die. Or do the deed myself. Yeah, who threw their life away for that? Unless we're talking about the mob over here. That e sig's that good, huh? Considering the area's volatility, the Liomang are the best bet in the house. But if it's not them... Well, there is the Seiryu clan, but they have some decorum compared to these guys. And then the Komi Jewel, the Koreans, they would never get caught on camera. They're shy like that. Go figure. <laughs> Impressive list you've got up there, Mr. Handyman. Too bad they're all dead ends. Hey, if there's a crime in Kamurocho, would you know who did it off the top of your head? No. Uh, uh. This footage is the lead we've been waiting for. Now we're gonna hunt them down for Tsukumo and Sugiura. You get hit in the head or something? Find them and they'll mess your ass up. Will they? Don't you get it? They were planning to take you out, man. A Liumang letting you off is nothing short of a miracle. Or would you rather risk your neck over nothing? Where we come from, risking our necks the bare minimum. <laughs> Yui Jincho guys must not see much action. Yeah, well, any gene show a handyman's wages don't cover life and limb. I don't recall ever hiring you. Yeah, and if you asked me now, I'd say hell no. This shit's getting way too over my head. And yours. Sorry, Kaito-san. But I'm gonna have to pass on drinks for a while. Send my regards to the lads. Well, hey, never chase with leaves. <laughs>